All right, we are back here on the Iona Athletics Podcast. Joining me in the studio today, our first ever studio guest, a senior defender for the Iona Gales men's soccer team. He became a starter in his sophomore year, made the MAC all academic team two years in a row with an all MAC second team selection last year. Our first in studio guest is Malcolm Moreno. Malcolm, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you very much for having me here. I'm great. You know, a little bit um, <clears throat> stress running in between classes and exams, but everything great. I appreciate you giving us the time. It's much appreciated because you're our first actual athlete on the show. We've had a couple of coaches on before, oh, so I feel I feel you know flattered to be the first one. Yeah, I'm excited to get a chance to talk to you. So I want to start here with uh, what inspired you to come to Iona College. So why Iona everywhere? I, when I was looking into schools to come over to the U.S., I was to me it was important to be close to a coast and a big city. I grew up in Madrid, obviously a big city, and you know having Iona which is a really reputable, not only business school, but also as a men's soccer program, being so close to New York City, to me, was a no-brainer. Yeah, I own, again, 45 minutes away from the city. Huge advantage for everybody who wants to go into like a financial career, any career in general. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so obviously you're a soccer player, you're a defender, so what's one player, who's one player you try and model your game after? That's a great question. Uh, if I were to have to pick one or two, I would say both Dani Alves or uh, Marcelo. They're both uh, Brazilian fullbacks. They're they're kind of okay, good defensively, but they're really, really good whenever they go forward and helping the the offense of their teams. And that's something that I try to do here with uh, with men's with the men's soccer team, you know. And it's something that Coach Hamilton also encourages from me and both uh, my uh, partners that play in the same position. So it just like works perfectly together. Yeah. So this is your last year here. How have you evolved as a player and a leader since when you first got to Iona to where you are today? <laughs> Freshman year, got here, it was a team full of seniors. It was like 10, 11 seniors. I was uh, the only freshman that eventually got to play or eventually start. And, you know, I was, I've was i always been very vocal, but I felt like, uh, you know, it was not my time to kind of grab everything. And then as soon as I got older, I got more vocal, tried to, you know, help as much as I could my uh, teammates on and off the field. And then uh, luckily for my senior season, I was selected as captain by Coach Hamilton. And, you know, just trying to, ease uh, that transition from high school to college for those uh, first years and then encouraging those that are already in the team trying to become leaders themselves because at the end of the day we need leaders everywhere you know yeah so what did that feel like when coach Hamilton picked you to be the captain of the squad <laughs> I I feel really flattered I'm not gonna lie you know it's it's a it's a great honor for me I love playing for Iona I've been here for four years I I couldn't imagine myself playing for anywhere else yeah, for sure. And looking at back at your time, Iona, from when you got here until now, so is there one moment that stuck with you from your all your time at Iona? It doesn't have to be on the pitch. It could be off the field. So what is the one moment that stuck with you? It has to be, definitely has to be uh, during my sophomore year. It was uh, the season opener at UConn, ranked nationally 20, top 25, uh, whatever it was. Uh, we got there. They were just expecting to keep on their eight or nine year streak of winning their home and season opener and we completely spoiled the party felt great and uh yeah that's something that i'm always definitely going to remember yeah that's a lot of fun that's a great <laughs> moment and you guys you guys played yesterday we're recording on thursday the 19th you guys picked up your second straight win yesterday against sacred heart so what was the key to your success in that matchup to be honest, uh, we have been playing on the same style ever since Coach Hamilton got into uh, the head coach position. So what we've been working on over preseason, it kind of rolled over into the non-conference schedule, which is defining roles, defining relationships, getting better relationships between players, and then, you know, just kind of knowing what we need uh, to do and how to do it. And it just showed up yesterday. You know, it was a, it was a long game. It was a tough game. No game is easy, but, you know, we eventually took care about, uh, of our business and then just excited to come back to play on Mazzella on Saturday. Yeah, you guys are playing at Mazzella on Saturday. You guys have built quite a home field advantage there. I mean, since the start of last year, you guys have defended the home turf very well. So why do you think that you guys play so much better here in New Rochelle in front of the Maroon Maniacs and all the Iona fans? I think I think that's the key, to be honest with you. You know, it's not only that it's our field and we practice there every day and we know the measures and everything, but it's also the energy that the people that are in their stands uh, give to us. You know, it's vital for us to to feel energized by all of those that are on the stands and when we translate that into our into our game and I think that our record shows it pretty well. Yeah, I mean I saw something like you guys were eight one and one your last home match ten yeah. home matches which is great. <laughs> and you guys rode that home field advantage last year into the postseason. So what was that feeling like as you guys realized, you know, we're going to the max, we're gonna post the playoff game. What was that feeling like in the locker room? 
to us it was huge because it was also the very first time that the men's soccer team were to host a playoff game and for us it was a great opportunity to showcase how good we were as a team and you know eventually make history and try and, and, and bring a, a championship uh, to Iona. Unfortunately, it couldn't be done, but we're looking forward to doing at least you know the same this year. Yeah, obviously, you guys had a nice mark last year. You got to that home playoff game at home. You guys want to get back to this year, probably get a little further. So you guys are done wrapping up the non-conference slate and starting to get ready for conference play. How has that non-conference portion of your schedule helped you guys get ready for the conference season in order to build on what you accomplished last year? I think the coaching staff has scheduled those games pretty well, pretty smartly. There were seven games. So we still have a couple more to play. And they allowed us to get tested against difficult teams. We went up to Vermont. We played against uh, nationally ranked St. John's. And those are challenges that you want to have. You know, They're not games that you're uh, supposed to go and win. They're games that you're supposed to go and you're the underdog. And it forces us to get better, give everything that we have for whenever we get into the MAG, be able to have gotten that competitive edge as well as the relationships between us on the field. Yeah, and you guys won at Vermont, played St. John's very close. So obviously a good start here, a good build into the season. I'm very excited to see what happens with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And my last question for you guys is for you, obviously. You're an integral part of this team, but obviously there's more to you than just what you do on the pitch and what you do on the field. So can you tell us about some of the stuff you're up to off the pitch and what you want to do after you graduate here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, this summer, as I was recovering from a knee injury, I was also interning in the city for a nonprofit, which is called SCAPE, and we were based at the, the New York City uh, Technology Campus for Microsoft. It was great. Uh, I'm really into business. I, I'm a major in finance, and I would like to pursue a, a career in the financial industry or a consulting industry afterwards if I don't go pro, because I know the coaching staff would like to see me uh, playing pro, so you never know. The future is the future. I'm not really thinking about it too much right now, but the uh, plans are there. Yeah, so you have the plans, like, but ideally, if, if you got the chance to play pro soccer, you would take it. I want to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Malcolm Moreno, senior defender on the Iona soccer team, first in-studio guest on the Iona Athletics podcast. Malcolm, thanks for all the time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.